Hey there, I'm Carl. I'm the founder of Ticketing Hub. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an account with Ticketing Hub and get you all set and ready within five minutes. So let's get started. I'm now in a new account on Ticketing Hub. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new product. So I'm going to click add product. I'm going to call this food tour. Select my country, my time zone, my product type. I'm going to create the product. Next thing to do is create your ticket types. So I'm going to create an adult ticket at 40 pounds. The size is going to be one. The limit is how many you can purchase in one order. So let's say 10 and valid for one. Now I'm going to create a second one. Let's say it's a child ticket for 20 pounds. And then limit is going to be 10. And I'm going to say under 16. Cool. Now we've created tickets. Let's create your availability. So in Ticketing Hub, we have what we call a season, which is a um, a week that replicates. So you can have your winter season, your summer season, and then we have ex exceptions for Halloween or New Year's where your price might be different or you might just be closed. So I'm going to create a season and for the moment, I'm just going to call this all year. And now I'm going to say I have a tour 10 o'clock for 10 people. I have a tour at two o'clock for 10 people and I'm closed on Mondays here, let's say, close in the afternoon. Now, what I'm going to do is duplicate this and call this summer season because in summer I'm busier. And so I'm going to go check for May from the 1st of May to the end of summer. So let's say 30th of September. And what I'm going to do now is actually during the summer, we're going to have another tour at four o'clock for 10 people and another one six for 10 people and we're going to open this Monday again and here this again and finally done so now we've created availability I've created my winter and my summer season so now I can go back to availability I can go to tickets and now I can click on seasonal pricing and I can change the price uh, of the tickets for the weekend or the weekdays or anything like that or for my summer season because now I know in summer I'm busier. So actually, um, this is going to be 50 pounds. This is going to be 50 pounds. This one's going to be 50 pounds too. And there we go. So in just a few seconds, I was able to create my availability, change the price for my summer season, and I'm ready to go. Here we have rates that we can apply to resellers or even groups. Um, here we have all the emails that are automatically generated. So I can click view. I can edit. I can change the text. I can make things bold. Um, so there's a lot of things I can do. We also have a magic link in the confirmation email that enables your customers to change their booking on their own. And you can set when they can do that. So you can say up to a few days before or a month before they can change their ticket, cancel their ticket, or exchange it for a voucher. In the feedback email, what we've created is a funnel. The idea is that instead of directing customers directly to your TripAdvisor or your Google page, we send them to a landing page where they rank your product from one to five. And according to your threshold, um, if they've done something under your threshold, they get a comment box, you get a notification, and you can handle that internally. And if they've given you a positive review, we then give them the link to your the TripAdvisor page or the Google page. So you only get good reviews there. Finally, here we have your account settings and in the account settings, I can set up my cutoff time. Um, I can decide whether I want to sell tickets or vouchers, um, how long the vouchers are valid for. I can create booking constraints. So I, you have to buy an adult ticket or two adult tickets to go with a child. So you can customize this here. I would put my address in. So here I can say 21 event, which is our office address. Um, if you're ever in London. There we go. Update that. And we're done. So I've created my products. I've done all of this. So now I can go to the widget. I'm going to go and create a widget. Let's say example, food tour. Done. So this is my widget. I can now decide what color it's going to be so I can customize it to my color, to my website. 
I can decide whether I want a button or I want it embedded on the page and whether I want to accept multiple currencies and multiple languages or just one. And then all I need to do is copy this widget code in to my website as an HTML element. The final thing to do here is go to your settings. Just save this maybe. So I go to my settings, I go to my integrations, and here I would activate my Stripe account. And that's it. You're ready to go. How cool is that? Want me to show you something cooler? You can actually clone your product. So now if I had a second product, and I call this Food Tour 2, I can just clone it. Two seconds. We have a new product. Now... Uh, if I go to my dashboard, I can see food tour two. I can go and reorganize this, change the price of the adult ticket to 50 pounds, um, change my availability. So in this case, I don't have a summer season. So I want to just delete this and check the times. This one starts at 11. This one starts at four. Now I can go back to my widget. I can go here. I can clone it. Example two. Confirm. I'm done. Thank you for watching.